Craig was nominated by Penn State Du Bois. He earned his undergraduate degree at Penn State before earning an MBA and PhD from the University of Wisconsin and the University of Maryland, respectively. Craig is an acclaimed scholar of leadership who has extensive experience working globally, including at prominent institutions in Istanbul, Turkey. He currently serves as Ben May Endowed Chair of Management at the University of South Alabama. Craig pioneered the development of shared leadership scholarship and practice. As a nominator wrote, Craig has emerged as one of the leading scholars in the profession. He is a driving theoretical force in this prominent and still developing area of leadership theory. I am pleased to honor Craig Pierce this evening with the Alumni Fellow Award. Thank you, President Barron. I'm very proud and honored to be here and humble. I started my Penn State career at Penn State Du Bois. I was a first generation college student and I can tell you it was a shock. My first semester was very difficult. I found out what failure was. I was failing in calculus, I was failing in chemistry, and this was news to me. I had been so successful in high school. But I realized early on, this was actually a very good thing for me, I realized early on that failure was simply a, semper, uh, a temporary pit stop on the way to success. Naturally, there are many people that have helped me along the way. First, I'd like to mention my parents, the late Bud Pierce, and with us this evening, Sally Pierce. They always encouraged and supported me. My parents instilled in me one important idea, dream big. That is a gift for which I will always be grateful. My dear friends Jeff Kuntz, as well as Chuck and Carmen Oldenauer join us tonight. Chuck was in fact my roommate here at Penn State. They have demonstrated to me what creative and hard work can really do. Persistence is probably the most important thing in success. Henry P. Sims, Jr., my senior honors thesis advisor here at Penn State while I was an undergrad, along with his wife, Lori Sims, they are also here. No one could have provided better academic role models than they. I am so fortunate to have had all of these people in my life. As mentioned, I am now the endowed chair and endowed chair of management at the Mitchell College of Business at the University of South Alabama. And my dean, my new dean, Bob Wood, is also here with us this evening. I have only recently gotten to know Dean Wood but what I can say about him is that he epitomizes what I advocate for leadership. I envision such a long, wonderful, and productive relationship. Finally, my wife, Christina Wassenaar, is here this evening. She has become my world. From our meeting in California, to our teaching at Harvard, to our marriage in the Galapagos. That was exciting to our work in Nigeria, to our life in Istanbul, to our extensive consulting and publishing together, and now our home in Alabama. She's a partner in every imaginable way. She's my inspiration to become a better man. Of course, there are many others that deserve my thanks, far too many to mention by name. But I'd like to draw to a close on the following thought, life is simultaneously ephemeral and eternal. Life is ephemeral in that each passing moment is gone with the wind as it passes by, and we need to make our actions count every moment of every day. On the other hand, life is indeed eternal. Our actions far outlive us, and we must be very thoughtful, careful, 
and purposeful to ensure that our actions leave a positive legacy. In terms of leaving a legacy, I can think of no better way than contributing to the developmental mission of our beloved Pennsylvania State University. We are Penn State. Thank you.